What's up, everybody? This is Phil from MDC. Did have the day off today. <coughs> Sorry about that. And was very, very, very nice to be off work today, guys, and uh, get out there and do a little bit of hunting, which I haven't done in a bit. So I uh, was very, very happy to do that. Um, did do a lot of stores today, actually. I did probably around six stores. And... Uh, I didn't find a lot until really my last store. My last store, I really pretty much found, uh, well, pretty much found everything that I really needed to find. Uh, here, I'll just, I'll let you guys, uh, see, uh, I'll let you guys see what, uh, what I found. Okay, so I'm in my last Walmart before I go home, guys. And some lonely soldiers again. And we got, oh, wait a second here. I do see some stuff. Oh, this is coming with me. Oh, this is coming with me. Oh, we've got K case or L case. Look at that. Well, well, well. Hello there. Gonna go nice with the super I have. Look at that. We've got some good stuff here. Another Silverado. We'll take it. Whoa, would you look at that? Some pretty good things here. Have it. Have it. Nissan Leaf. Fish the chip. Volvo. Oh, look at that. Toon Supra. Little Toon Supra. Yeah, I'm not crazy about the tunes, guys, but. Well, I would say that would just about do it. My bad, my bad. We got a little stack to take home. Beautiful. Nothing else. Ten packs. Oh, wait a minute, that time pack looks to be something. Is that a McLaren on the bottom? No, it's the Lamborghini. Okay, no. Well, I'd say we're good with these, guys. <laughs> we did actually find something today. We've got some main lines. These are funny. They're just a repack of the exact same cars that came out before. Different card art. I can't believe Mattel's doing this again. Exactly the same cars. Okay. Anyways, we got some stuff. I'll show you when I get home, guys. We'll open them up. All right. So yeah, my last stop, I managed to find some stuff, and uh, it was pretty cool to 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 actually run into it because I did hear that they were hitting the pegs at some of the Walmarts and most of the Walmarts, well, all the Walmarts except for one today, didn't have anything. So very, very glad. Did get my hands on this Volkswagen ID bus, or buzz, sorry, which is pretty, pretty cool looking little EV vehicle. And we did get, of course, the uh, 07 Ford Mustang in Falcon livery. Do love Falcon livery, so very, very cool. Was very stoked to find this one. The Trouble Decker. I mean, this one I was actually waiting for. This is a really cool London bus version. This is a pretty awesome little new casting. Very, very excited to uh, get that. And, of course, do love my Silverados. I do believe I have this one already. I'm not going to open this. I believe I got this from my friend that went to the states. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to open this one. I'm going to keep this one uh, carded. I already have it open. Did pick up this limited grip. Thought this is an awesome looking casting for a fantasy casting. The thing looks really, really cool. Very, very stoked. I'm glad to see this, and uh, let's definitely get that one opened. The new recolor of the 55 Bel Air Gasser in the Tri-5 Terror. This one in blue. First release, I believe, was in the yellow. So looking very, very stoked on that one. 
Then we got from the Muscle Mania, we have the 69 Shelby GT500, which I already opened as well, I believe. So, um, well, I'm going to open it anyways because it does go in my um, regular version of the Supers uh, case. So that one I do have to crack open. Finally found the 73 Honda Civic Custom, looking very cool in this uh, kind of a uh, little bit of a race livery, I guess. Really, really cool. We did get the 65 Mercury Comet Cyclone. Very, very glad to get this. We'll go with the uh, regular of the Super as well. Awesome. Love the Mercury Cyclone, guys. Very, very excited about that casting. Glad to see it a Super Treasure Hunt. We just don't see that casting enough, I find. Then we've got the recolor of the Mazda 7878. And this one in its burnt orange looks pretty cool as well. Anyway, we've got that. Then last but not least, probably the highlight of all of these uh, for most of you uh, is this Alfa Romeo GT V6 3.0. Very, very cool casting. Love these wheels. Almost looks premium. This car really, as a main line, really does almost look premium. And, you know, the only thing that changes it is it doesn't have the rear deco. If it did, I mean, you would really think it's a premium vehicle. Crazy. Anyway, we got those two open. Then last in the list, I've got just a couple of things to, uh, a couple, of, well, I've just got uh, one other brand I want to get opened. I've got a Mini GT here. This pretty crazy looking BMW M4 GT3. And I have the Chase. And this car really looks like it was done extremely well by G, uh, Mini GT. Uh, we're going to crack those open just to uh, so I can get them up on the wall. Okay, so not, not that much, but a few things to check out, guys. So let's set up the trusty turntable and let's dig into some uh, J and K case highlights. So let's whip through these main lines, everybody. We'll start off with, uh, well, well, we'll go in the way I showed it, I guess. First off with this Volkswagen ID Buzz. Okay, looking pretty cool. Another brand new casting, electric vehicle Volkswagen. Uh, let's get it. I do like the colors. Honestly, I do like the colors on this thing. And I like the, I always like yellow. Okay, I always like a metallic yellow. I always thought it was very cool. Shows a lot of the lines and the white, obviously. And this thing is definitely, well, I haven't seen it on the roads yet, but definitely a weird-looking casting. It is brand new, obviously. You can see it has front and rear deco, which usually Hot Wheels does with brand new castings. Uh, I mean, actually, I may put my foot in my mouth on that one because I do believe the bus has no front and rear decos. But anyway, still looking pretty cool. Little EV Volkswagen Buzz Bus. I mean, will I collect the casting? Probably not, but it is a nice first edition. And, you know, first editions, I always try to pick up one or two. But this one does have side mirrors, which is a definite bonus. Can't go wrong with it. So, off to the side we go. And let us, well, talking about the bus, let's open up this Trouble Decker, which obviously is a fantasy casting as well. Otherwise, it would have just said London Bus. And, you know, I mean, it is sitting on uh, big, huge drag wheels. And, okay, cool enough. Um, yeah, actually, I believe it is die cast. Is it? No, it's all plastic. This actually feels like it's metal, but it's not. It's all plastic. It's just the base that's metal. So it gives it quite a quite a weight because, uh, as you can see how deep the rivets are, it is quite a big base. Okay. But still, pretty cool looking little Air Bus, I'll tell you. Big spoiler in the back. Parachute. Wheelie bars. I mean, it is a bit out of this world. Actually, it's the kind of bus I'd like to drive, actually. <laughs> but that's besides the point. 
Very cool fantasy casting. Very cool. That's two new additions. And I would say they're pretty awesome looking. Then we have the Falcon Ford Mustang, which is definitely always going to be a hit. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, Mattel, it is trying to change these back wheels on this car, too. Let's have an updated version of this guy, please, because I do love this casting. Honestly, and I put some side mirrors on it, by the way. This casting, I've always loved. It's been a super treasure hunt a couple of times, and it is just gorgeous. I mean, even with the jacked up back end, still is a good looking car. And in Falcon livery, just awesome. This would have made a nice super treasure hunt. With the Falcon livery, would have made a nice super. But I'm sure it will become a Zamac. I'm very sure of it. Most Falcon liveries come Zamac. Okay, another one. This one also, Limited Grip, is also fantasy casting. I mean, we've got a few fantasy castings this year that I've actually picked up because I thought were very cool. And that's pretty rare. Honestly, it's pretty rare. I remember the last one I picked up was the, uh, it was like a speed car, uh, like a supercar. Don't remember the name of it, guys, but uh, that, that was a fantasy casting. It was pretty awesome. And this one is definitely seriously awesome. I mean, the concept of this car is just crazy. Almost looks like a little Chevy S10 beefed right up. A little Cyclone. I mean, it is nice. Really, really nicely done. Black Widow. Black and red. I mean, just excellent, excellent execution on this car. The King of Sound. Very nice. Okay, next. We do have the recolor of the Triassic Terror. Tri-5 uh, tri Terror. And another Bel Air Gasser, which is always popular. And this one is done in a matte blue. Okay, that is very cool. Love the color. Purple windows actually work with this thing. Always seem to be using the same mags on this casting. But... They work, so why change them? And I do love this color of the car. Honestly, I think this color looks great. Car always looks good in a matte. We had a matte gray from the boulevard, and that was just a beautiful, beautiful gasser. Very underrated, but really, really beautifully done. And this in matte blue is definitely awesome looking. No, if it, I don't know if it's just me, guys, or uh, if everybody else feels the same, but the J and K case just doesn't seem to have a ton of great cars in it. I mean, I don't know. I uh, I find that the last couple of cases really seem to have tons of fantasy castings. They're missing out on the uh, licensed vehicles. But what they do have in license is pretty cool. That's that's the uh, the one advantage. 73 Honda Civic Custom. Okay, and you're going to see what I'm talking about uh, with the with the um, the last car there uh, with the Alfa Romeo. Okay, I mean they do put really cool brand new castings, but we miss a lot of the other licensed castings. This Honda Civic is done beautifully. And this, this orange with the disc wheels, awesome graphics. I mean, very, very clean graphics. Car looks great. Front and rear deco. I mean, I love this little car. This one just looks amazing. Beautifully, beautifully done.
might actually be my favorite version of this car so far. Actually, not maybe. This definitely is my favorite version. The other colors were pale and uh, a bit... Uh, mm, we had the green, the off-white, and this orange one just stands out. I mean, that is just awesome. Love this casting. And love that color. Okay, last three that we're going to check out in the Hot Wheels main lines. And this one here is the Mazda. And it's burnt orange recolor. Okay, and this is a great casting. We we definitely, it's, it's starting to show up quite a bit. We've had in a few recolors. And we did have the premium version where the back does come off. And this one is definitely welcome. I'm glad to see it come around. Mismatched wheels. Love the disc wheels on it. Actually, it probably looked really good with all disc, but anyway. Great looking casting. Honestly, a very, very good looking casting. And also, you could see a ton of work went into this from Mattel. Just to get all that detail in this little $2 car, okay? I mean, it is fantastic. Now, can you imagine a car culture set of all Le Mans cars? Wouldn't that be awesome? I think we need it. Get the Ferrari license back. Anyways, I'm, I'm pushing. I'm pushing too high up there. I know I am, guys. But anyways, last two cars of the Hot Wheels set. And this one here is definitely the sought after. Like I said, this car just looks premium. Those wheels, they're gorgeous. They are Simply gorgeous. Alfa Romeo GT V6 3.0. Wow. Wow. If it had a metal base, we'd be flying. And rubber wheels. I mean, these, these wheels, they look like real riders, guys. Okay, you can see the, the, the curvature in it. I mean, they look rubber wheels this thing looks premium honestly great that goes what an amazing casting that is a real highlight guys I would love for this to come premium and then we can compare it because, I mean, I can't see much more besides the rear tails. I can't see that they could add much more to make it premium. I mean, beautiful, beautiful mainline. Okay. Next, we have the 65 Mercury Cyclone Comet. Love this casting, and I really do like this deco. The black, the red, this one looks amazing. Great casting. It's one of my, well, I mean, it might actually be my second favorite in the gassers. Being, obviously, the Supernova is my first favorite of the gassers. This one might actually be the second. I like the 55 Bel Air, but... I think the 55 Bel Air is more like third. That is gorgeous. Just simply gorgeous. And we're going to open up the Super Treasure Hunt. Just to compare. Because if that one right there was sitting on real riders and a bit of a grayer paint we'd have the super treasure hunt which is right here real riders th logo and yep looking pretty good looking pretty good
So that's it for my haul at Walmart today. And I told you I did want to throw in these Mini GTs, okay? Because these, I picked them up from uh, Passion Diecast. Because I really, the more I looked at it, when they first came out last week, I didn't, uh, I didn't pick it up. I didn't think anything special of it. But the more I looked at the casting, the more I realized this thing looks pretty crazy. So I said, you know what? Let's buy it and see how crazy this casting really is. I mean, it looks to me like there is a ton of work in this casting. And yeah, I'm right. There is. It is a very heavy casting. But look at all this work in it, guys. I mean, that, that body kit is just something else. The colors are just beautiful. And very heavy, like I said. Very thick base. And there she is. Looking pretty good. I think I did a good buy on this one. And the chase, I think, looks even sicker. Now, as you can see, we'll go through the differences. Right away, as we notice on this one that's spinning, we have black mirrors. <laughs> we have um, black interior. Well, black tinted windows. And we have white paint. As to where the chase, our differences are. Right away you can see. We've got a Zamac. We've got white mirrors with white interior. And white rims. And like I said, the, the the original is gorgeous, but I really think this chase is actually better. That is really, really nice. And when I spotted this chase, it's really that that made me buy these more than seeing the original. Anyways, guys, there you have it. That's the video for tonight. Please, guys, smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And let me know which one's your favorite out of the K-Case. I'm guessing the Alfa Romeo is going to be the majority of the people. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. Let me know in the comments, guys. Till next time, be safe, be well. Happy hunting, everybody. Ciao.